Merry Christmas, friends. Thanks for joining us. My name is Jed and this is Hannah. Hi, friends. We're so excited to learn about God and his word with you. And today is extra special because we have some friends from Grow TV here to tell us our Bible story. I can't wait. Me neither. But before we start today's lesson, can you guess what we're going to do first? <gasps> oh. I know, we're gonna sing a song and worship Jesus. That's right, that's right. And remember, there are so many ways we can worship Jesus. We can sing, we can clap, we can raise our hands, whoop, whoop. or even have a super awesome dance party. All right. <laughs> Worshiping Jesus is one of my favorite things ever. Me too, and friends, let's all stand up and get ready to worship Jesus together. Friends, this month our Bible verse is about having hope while we wait for Jesus. Do you remember it? I do! I'll say it once slowly and then we can all say it together. Perfect. Ready? Yeah. Okay. I watch in hope for the Lord. I wait for God my Savior. My God will hear me. Micah 7-7. Seven, seven. Let's all say it together this time. Are you ready? Yeah, okay. Okay. I watch in hope for the Lord. I wait for God my Savior. My God will hear me. Micah 7-7. Seven, seven. We did it! High five! Hey y'all, I'm so glad y'all are here today. Today, I'm doing something very special. Something extraordinary. Today, I will do the impossible. You see, there are many things in my life that people say straight to my face are impossible. So then I say, who are you? And what are you doing in my house? So today, we'll be attempting five impossible tasks and prove all the naysayers wrong. Here we go. Number one impossible task, lick your elbow. Apparently this is impossible, but let's see. Okay, it's a lot further than I imagined, so. <laughs> Did it. Number two impossible task, telepathy. You see, telepathy is the art of sending messages from one person's brain to the other without saying anything. So what I want you to do, kiddos, is think of an animal inside your brain. Think of one animal inside your brain, say it really loud inside there so I can, I, can, I can hear it in my own brain, all right? All right, let's give this a shot. Okay, it's something hairy with a lot of teeth. Mm. Whoever's thinking of a mushy banana, please stop. Ah! A Norwegian red tail armadillo. Boom, got it. You're welcome, Tyler. Number three impossible task, travel at the speed of light. I think I can't do this one. <laughs> Watch this. Did you see it? I went to Kansas and back. I'll do it again. I just ran from Baja, California. It's beautiful. 
Number four impossible task. Sneeze with my eyes open. Now this one's gonna be tough. Ready? <coughs> ha, wow, I did it. Why does my head hurt? <laughs> Number five, time travel. Wait, I don't know how to time travel, but maybe my friend Sam does. Carl, how you doing, man? Great, Sam. Hey, I got a quick question. Shoot. Do you know how to time travel? Excuse me? Yeah, <laughs> time travel. You know, traveling through time. Um, I can't say that I do. Bummer. I don't either. Maybe it's impossible, but that's okay. Four out of five ain't bad, I guess. Not bad at all. Even though time travel will be super cool. Right? That's what I was thinking. I think I would travel back to when chocolate was first invented. Or when they made the first chicken nugget. <laughs> what a beautiful day that must have been. <sighs> beautiful day. What about you, Sam? What? If you could travel back in time at any moment, what would it be? When would it be? Good question. I think I'd like to go to some time in the Bible. I'd like to see something crazy cool. Like an angel. Yeah, seeing an angel would be pretty cool. It would. Believe it or not, an angel is actually a part of our story today. No way! Let's get started then. All right. It's time for our Bible story. Today we will hear about a very special story. We will learn about an angel named Gabriel. God sent Gabriel to Nazareth to meet a woman named Mary. Mary was about to be married to a man named Joseph. And Gabriel greeted Mary and said, God has blessed you in a special way. God is with you. But Mary was worried. It's not every day an angel pops up and says that. Absolutely. Gabriel knew that she was worried. He said to her, do not be afraid, Mary. God is very pleased with you. You are going to have a baby and you will call him Jesus. Jesus is the son of God. But Mary was confused because she wasn't even married. How could that happen? So then how could she have a baby? Well, God has the power to make it happen. God used the angel to tell Mary that a miracle would happen, but she would have to wait and see how it would happen. God through Gabriel told her, whatever God says will come true. When Mary heard this, she relaxed and promised to serve God. And did it happen like the angel said? You bet it did. Jesus was born even though it was impossible, but that was just the beginning. God was planning and doing even more impossible things through Jesus. Wow, Mary received some impossible news from the angel. It did seem impossible when the angel told Mary that God was going to perform a miracle and that she was going to give birth to baby Jesus. She knew the message was from God. And everything that God says is true. That's right. So even though it seemed impossible, she trusted God because God does impossible things. Exactly. Friends, are you ready for your challenge this week? I am. This week, whenever you feel like something is impossible, remember that you can have hope because God is with you and God does impossible things. Thanks for joining us, friends. We hope you have a great week. Merry Christmas, and we can't wait to see you next time. Bye.